we have a resistive load nominal rating 400 watt 100 volt root mean square and 60 hertz and we want to uh, supply to energize uh, the same load from 200 volt 50 hertz line and uh, our task is to find a capacitance that should be connected in series uh, to maintain the same nominal power of 400 watt uh, okay this can be done um, as i've said by series connection of uh, capacitance uh, like here uh, we have a phase diagram at the right side uh, voltage across a resistor nominal voltage 100 uh, volt root mean square then if we connect the capacitor capacitor voltage this is a current that flows through a resistance through this branch uh, a voltage across a capacitor uh, lux uh, current by 90 degrees and our task is to find a length of this uh, fuzzer we know a length of uh, of this leg this is a voltage ac across the resistor we know a length of hypotenuse uh, this length is 200 volt we don't know this phase angle but we don't need to find uh, this angle uh, it is a right angled triangle and this leg uh, its length is 100 square root of 3 uh, a current that flows through all this branch already calculated from nominal um, values of uh, resistive load and then knowing current knowing frequency 50 hertz now and uh, knowing voltage root mean square values we may calculate uh, capacitance of 73.5 microfarad okay uh, the same uh, calculations uh, one thing uh, has to be underlined here that originally we have 60 hertz then we have 50 hertz but it doesn't matter the load resistance behave exactly the same regardless uh, frequency is 50 or 60 hertz now calculations based on the uh, p spy simulation and uh, we will use schematics version uh, this is our circuit our task is to size this uh, capacitance such that this voltage uh, is one, its root mean square value is 100 uh, volts okay so uh, we have to prepare uh, data for analysis setup ac sweep uh, 50 hertz and uh, uh, parametric analysis variable uh, capacitance let us assume that uh, we will search for the solution from 0 0.1 to 490 microfarad with uh, 1000 points per decade uh, as decade sweep type has been selected okay uh, after saving this data and uh, running simulation a black window appears we have to then add trace this trace uh, and before adding this trace we have to examine a netlist because actually we don't know uh, labels of these two nodes two nodes this is node number one this is node number two then uh, actually our voltage it is um, voltage of node number one minus voltage of node number two and this is the plot we are looking for the level of 100 uh, root mean square value and for this level uh, we may use the search command uh, we find uh, this capacitance which is exactly the same as we have calculated before okay now very briefly a live version of this uh, simulation this is our circuit diagram stored in computer memory uh, let me uh, recall uh, uh, analysis setup analysis ac sweep uh, only one frequency and what regards um, uh, parametric analysis these values uh, experimentally uh, have been uh, set okay we saved data data already stored in computer memory uh, run simulation okay we are running simulation and simulation is nearly completed we take all values of the capacitance and we have a blank window so now we have to uh, examine uh, we have to examine uh, a netlist so we have to return to our circuit diagram and examine netlist to find 
that this is node number one and this is node number two. Uh, let us return to probe window. Uh, we have to add trace, uh, which is voltage at node number one minus voltage of node number two. Okay, and this is our plot. And now we are looking for the level of 100 search. Okay, and this is our result. And that way we have completed calculations for this exemplary circuit.